Minnie says hi, guys. Hi, everyone, and welcome to All the Chug, where we bring you pet tips and tricks that are usually cost effective and things you could do at home. Um, today. So today is going to be a little bit of a different video, I guess it's one of those where I pretend like I know how to vlog. So the video today is actually going to be more of an update and kind of a forcing myself to continue this update. So what I'm talking about is a few months back, like probably back in August, and it's November right now just for time reference. Um, back in August I found a really sweet deal on a reptile cabinet and I picked it up, I brought it home, and I made plans for it, and now it's kind of just been sitting in my garage because honestly it's this huge gigantic wooden cabinet and I really want to repaint it and refinish the inside. And So I want to reseal the inside because honestly uh, it's, it's a pretty old cabinet, so I just want to like spruce it up and make it fresh for when I do have reptiles Then I have a a proper place to put them So what I want to show you first is actually the initial clip I filmed when I first got the cabinet talking about what I want to do with it because I figure um, I, If you haven't seen it yet, I want to show you where I kind of started So here's the first clip that I ever filmed when I first got this cabinet and you'll kind of see um, What I want to do with it here it is. Uh, so we've got a reptile cabinet. This is the biggest reptile enclosure thing that I've ever bought. And so I just wanted to show it to you. I'm so excited. Here's why. Let me turn the camera around. All right, so I'm super excited for this. Here's why. Firstly, biggest cabinet I've ever bought, right? and uh, it holds four different enclosures. It's solid wood, but this is not why I'm excited. I've wanted something like this for a long time, but this was $40. So I got this for 40 bucks at a garage sale. Can you believe this? Uh, it's uh, four foot across and eight foot tall. This thing is huge. And I know there's people out there that have stuff like this already, or they have an entire closure that's this, this big, and this is not new to them. I'm excited because up until now I've been keeping my reptiles in single enclosures, just kind of spread throughout my house, and so this will be like the first kind of um, large built-in scale piece where I can house multiple um, reptiles. Out of all of these tanks, this bottom one is four foot long, two feet deep, two feet high approximately. I'm planning on putting some kind of lizard or skink in there, I have yet to decide, but it will be something new, and so I'm excited for that. This one is a 10 gallon and so is this one. This top 10 gallon I'm going to um, design out uh, as a desert enclosure and it'll be a temporary enclosure for my leopard gecko that you met. So my leopard gecko, like I said, is actually a classroom pet and up until now I've actually had to drag its enclosure back and forth from school when, it's, when there's long breaks. And so I'm going to make this just a kind of a small vacation home. This bottom one's going to be temporarily for my Lichianus gecko. Uh, it's a juvenile baby kind of right now. It's only a year old, uh, but it's under 100 grams So it's not ready for its full-size enclosure. We'll meet that gecko later I'll show you the the full enclosure later because that one's actually set up But in the meantime, I'm gonna store it here um, and that way I don't have to have that separate um, enclosure out anymore and then lastly the giant enclosure we have here so this one's kind of like the bottom one in that it's the, lar the other large one. This one's maybe two feet across and three feet tall and two feet deep. So I don't know what I'm gonna put in here either. This one is also up for grabs. So I got two very large enclosures that I can put something new in and I am super excited because that means more animals. Uh, in larger tanks because up until now I've been kind of keeping smaller stuff just for space because I'll be space saving now technically because these uh, I actually have animals that for these two and uh, These two will be open will condense down and they'll just be all in this one unit in the office space So you will be with me as I I fix this up So one thing I want to say now that you've seen it and you know what's going in there uh, it's not done and it's not ready. I actually have all the parts. The glass panels are in each enclosure. That's not the problem. Uh, the problem is it's not my style. So <laughs> uh, I'm actually sanding this entire thing down. You can kind of see my scratch marks of where I was starting to sand. 
I'm gonna sand this entire thing down and repaint it to match the office colors. It'll be a gray color, and that way this will be more seamless, more integrated into my house. And another thing that needs to be done for the animals specifically and not my own taste is I'm going to reseal the inside. It's been sealed once by the previous owner, but I'm gonna strip that as well and reseal just because I am going to have humid animals in here that have moist environments and I don't want this wood to rot. I want this to last a very long time. So $40, we have other stuff to do. We have to bathe the dogs today. Uh, but I just wanted to show you this. We'll continue this. Um, I'll show you updates as it goes along. It's gonna take me a while to sand. So just for now, we're here. I'll show you later what it looks like once I've sanded it and then we'll start the painting process together. So excited, we'll build these, more animals, woohoo. Let's go wash them down. All right, so anyway, that's that first clip and what has basically happened since then is nothing. I actually did try to start sanding it because if you've ever refinished a cabinet and you've had to sand it first or any kind of wooden furniture, you know sanding's the worst part. It's a pain in the butt. And so I actually did start, um, I did like, half of one side, uh, which is not much at all, and I was doing it by hand. So I got really tired really quick, and I'm not, like, there's no progress to be made. I cannot make a dent in this thing doing it by hand. So what I did is I went to my good old parents and I asked for their electric sander, which I now have. So today, I'm actually going to force myself to go out there, which is why I'm making this video so I'm held accountable, and I am going to now use the electric sander to really like get this project on a roll. So I'm gonna film myself doing that so you can see the cabinet. Um, you can also see me sanding it, I guess, if that's interesting to you. Um, and then we'll leave it at that. The other thing I wanna do before I go outside is actually give you a small update on the rabbit cage because that was something else that I had updated. And I just wanna talk about how I'm feeling now that I've had it for, I think I've had this cage about a month now. So let's go look at that. Billy! Billy Snow. Billy. So here's Billy. <laughs> There's Billy and this was that cage that I redid. It looks very similar to how I left it. Like I said, it's been probably at least a month that now I've had this new cage. Um, I do put this tube in here occasionally um, just to kind of change it up. He likes to run in it. So on weekends he gets the tube. On weekdays the tube comes out and he gets free room space. Um, but I absolutely am 100% so happy that I did change to this style cage. It is so much more room without feeling like it's taking a lot of room. Um, he, I love the fact that I put a ball pit in. He loves his ball pit, which is why you can see like stuff that's out because he uses it all the time. Uh, he loves his ball pit. The uh, little ledge is great. He loves to get up there and stand on it. Like everything about this has been such a great, amazing decision. I did decide that I would keep the water bottle, but I found that the water bowl, um, he does not tip over. So now he actually drinks out of a water bowl, which if you didn't know is much better for rabbits. Um, some are due to have a tendency to flip them over. Do you need more attention? I'm sorry. Am I ignoring you, Min Min? Minnie Minnie. Okay, just wait a second. You too. So anyway, uh, just if you didn't know, water bowls are much better for rabbits and so that's why I switched to that. But the more, the best thing that hands down this makes it so much better than a hutch is the fact that it is a real litter box because all I have to do and excuse it because today is cleaning day so I don't exactly know what's gonna be in here. But all I have to do is flip this down, take that litter box out to the trash, dump it, bring it back and refill it. And it's so much better. Uh, it's secure, it's enclosed, I don't see it, but it's easier to clean. That old cage, whoop, that old cage was a pain in the butt to clean because I had to take like pieces out and, and do all that kind of thing and it was just hard. So this cage is so much better, guys. If you wanna know how I put this together and where I got this stuff, I will put an I card up here. You'll see it pop up and you can watch that video on that. So here's the cage today. Excuse the dryer, which is on, um, but this is where we're at. Notice I've started filling it with stuff, but here's the electric sander. I'm going to go ahead and start sanding. 
I don't think I'm going to have the video camera out here while I am just because fine dust is going to be flying around and I don't want it to affect my camera. So I'm going to sand first and then I'll show you the progress I've made. As you can see, this is where I started and I've got all of this now to do, so I will be back. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Guys. Whew. So, I need to take this off. So here's the progress. I sanded this whole entire side all the way down as far as I could because there is, you know, the cement there. But I got one side done, right? Um, so it, I know it's just one side and you're like, well, you have a power sander, keep going. Um, what it basically does is like super fast like vibrations um, and strong because it has to sand wood. So it's not that I'm like tired, it's just that the vibrating starts to bother my hands. Um, and they get like tingly and I start losing feeling, which isn't good because you, you shouldn't be doing construction work if you can't feel what you're doing. So um, I'm happy though that one side's done. So I'm gonna take a break. Maybe I'll do it like a day at a time each side because really the front's not that much. It's just sanding, you know, the, the in-between parts between the cages and then that last um, third side because there's not really a, I don't have to sand the back. No one's gonna see it. So one side's done. Um, Maybe to, in a couple hours when my hands feel better, I can do the back side. And then um, maybe tomorrow I'll just do all the fronts since it'll be a little more complicated with all these nooks and stuff. And I might have to do the hand sanding a little more for tomorrow, but it'll go so much faster. And once that's done, then I can start painting. So um, thanks for watching. I know it wasn't much today, but I'm excited. Uh, we're making progress. So thanks guys, see ya.